Hello right, friends, welcome back to another video on building multipurpose Laravel and Vue 3 application and in this video we will be working on our appointment edit page. So first of all let me give you the demo of what we are going to build throughout this video. So here we have this edit icon and if I click on this icon we are redirected to appointment edit page with this filled out information. And this page also includes validation so if I remove this and click on submit then we see this the title field is required right. And if I fill out this form and let me change this date as well and then click on submit then that appointment got updated and we are redirected back to this appointment listing page. And also here we are using that same component called appointment form to edit the appointment as well as to create the appointment. So throughout this video you will learn exactly how we can do this as well. So now let's get started building this exact thing. Okay so first of all let me open up the code editor over here. And now first of all we need to create the route for that edit page. So for that let me go to routes.js file and let me copy this and after this we can create the route for appointments edit page and we can dynamically get the id and then edit and the name of the route is admin.appointments.edit and the component will be using that same component okay now we have created that route and if i visit admin appointments one id then we are on that specific page with that component being loaded and here you can see that same page which is the create appointment page but we need to modify some of this text like instead of create appointment we need to show edit appointment and also over here as well so first of all let's do that part let me go to appointment form and at the top uh, before on mounted let me define one state called edit mode and by default let me set this as false using reactive reference and if we are on edit page then we need to show edit appointment and to identify that we are on edit page and we are on create page we'll be using a router so let's do that part and on mounted we can add a conditional like if the router current route dot value dot name equals admin dot appointments dot edit then we'll set the edit mode to true and here we are checking that if the current route name is same as admin dot appointments dot edit then we'll set that edit mode as true so now we'll not see any changes but uh, in our template we can add the conditional for create appointment and edit appointment so let me wrap this inside of span create and then edit and here we can add the conditional if we if we are on edit mode then we'll show edit otherwise we'll show create now here we are seeing the edit appointment and similarly we can change this as well so let's do that span create and edit and if we are on edit mode then we'll show edit otherwise create okay this is fine now we need to fill out this form based on this appointment that we are trying to edit so let's do that part but before that let me show you another thing and instead of using this router current route value name we can simply import use route from view router so let's do use route let's define that route using use route function and then over here instead of for router current route value dot name we can simply do route dot name which is much more shorter and much more readable and if i refresh this we still see that same output which is great now after changing this edit mode we can simply call the method called get appointment that we haven't defined let's define that method const get appointment and inside this we'll be performing the axios request so axios.get slash api slash appointments and we need to pass the id and then edit and for id 
let me use back tick and then we can use the variable here and to get the id we can simply use route.params.id and then we'll get the response back and we can set that form values where we have defined over here right and which is reactive and we can do form dot title is response dot data dot title but we haven't added this endpoint so first of all let's work on this endpoint so for that let me go to web.psv file and after this create route let me add another route get api slash appointments and then appointment and then edit in here we'll be calling the edit method and let me go inside this controller and let's define that method public function edit will be receiving the appointment and let's return that appointment from here now let me try this and we are getting the title which is perfect right similarly we can do the same thing for client name start time and time and description so let's do that so here we can do form dot client id equals response dot data dot client id and this client got selected which is perfect so here instead of using this response to data multiple time we can simply use object structuring for that and we can get the data directly and if i refresh it it is still same this is great now let's do for form dot start time equals data dot start time but here we are getting this format so let's change this format so let me go to appointment.psv file and let's create the accessor for that and let me define one function called formatted start time and it will return the attribute which is illuminate database allocant attribute and here we need to return the attribute make and inside this let's define the get function and we can get the value using this start time and then we can format it into year month day hour minute and then am and pm now to use this formatted start time we need to append that to the response so let's use the protected property called appends and then we want to append formatted start time similarly we can do the same for end time as well but first let's test with start time instead of start time let's use formatted start time and this is working which is great let's do the same for end time as well so let me copy this formatted end time and here we need to get the end time and then format it and don't forget to add this inside of appends array so formatted end time and then let me go to appointment form and let's set the end time is data dot formatted end time and this is working finally let's do for description as well so form dot description equals data dot description and this is working now we need to handle this form submission as well currently this works for the create appointment so we need to handle that part so if i go to handle submit method over here we are performing this logic so instead of doing this let me remove it from here let me define the method called create appointment and then i will paste that code over here and we need to pass the values and actions and we'll be passing that from handle submit 
create appointment and pass the values and actions okay so here we can put the conditionals based on the edit mode so if you are on edit appointment page then we'll be calling the method called edit appointment and if you are on create appointment page then we'll be calling the method called it create appointment so for that we can use edit mode value so let's add the conditional if the edit mode value is uh, true uh, meaning that we are on edit page then we'll be calling the method called edit appointment and then values with actions we haven't defined this method yet otherwise we'll be calling the method called create appointment let me put it over here now let's define this edit appointment function as well over here const edit appointment need to get the values and actions and let's alert update it for now let's just do alert now if i refresh it click on submit then it is saying updated which is great but if i on create appointment page fill out this form let me a restart time and end time click on submit then that got saved which is great now let me get back to that page and again from here we can perform the access request to update this specific appointment so let's do that part first of all let me copy this code for creating the appointment we can modify this let me paste it instead of post request let's send the port request to the endpoint called api slash appointments slash id let's wrap this instead of backtick and instead of create we'll be using id and then edit and to get the id we can use route.params.id okay and after successful response we are redirecting to admin slash appointments and also we are displaying the toast notification message and let's change this to appointment updated successfully now we need to define this endpoint so let's go to web.psv file and over here let me create the route for the put method and instead of edit we'll be calling the update method okay now let me go to that controller and then create this function called update we'll be receiving the appointment and we'll perform the validation so for validation let me copy this code and then we'll update the appointment based on this validated data and finally we'll return the response json it's the message success true now let me test this let me change this client name to this one click on submit then we are getting that message and that client also got sensed which is perfect and if i get back and if i remove this title click on submit then we are getting that validation message as well which is great right we change this to changed click on submit now we are on appointment listing page and finally we need to make this icon workable as well and here if i click on this icon it is not taking us to the edit appointment page so we need to add router link for that so let me go to appointment list and then let me search for edit and here let me change this link to router link and let's replace as ref with two and let's add back tick admin slash appointments slash we need to pass the appointment id appointment.id and then edit and now if i click on this edit icon we are on edit page and let me change this client name to this client name click on submit and this got changed which is great so this much for this video i hope this video was helpful for you so don't forget to like share and subscribe to this channel as i'll be uploading the videos like this so till then have a great time and i will see you on the next one